Welcome to part two of the Epic Playhouse Treehouse. For those of you that missed last week's episode, here's a link. Or you can find it in the description below. For those of you that like to be spoon fed, here's a time lapse montage. <laughs> So we're about halfway through with this build, but we still have a lot of work to do. Over the course of the next week, we've got some volunteers coming in and they're gonna help us with handrail and decking. Spitz is gonna be knocking out the stairs while Shonix and Dylan are building the crow's nest. Garrett Porter, of course, is gonna be behind the scenes being Superman, doing a little bit of everything. And I'm gonna be in the office figuring out how to build this epic 20-foot suspension bridge. I guess I better get busy. Yeah, it's a simple machine. It's friction, basically. Providing friction. Ugh. Multiple wraps. And then a... Lock off. And that's not going anywhere. So I'm using this porter wrap as a lowering device, right? On the bottom of the pole, I've got a line going to Spitzy so that you can move the pole out of the way. And on the top of the pole is my porter wrap line. It's actually going to redirect. And as the pole falls, that porter wrap will catch it and then I can lower it to the ground. So now that our platforms are kind of coming together, um, we got to start thinking about how to actually get up into the treehouse. Uh, so it looks like I'm going to be spending the next day, uh, or two days, or three days, or four days, uh, building a staircase. So uh, this treehouse, we're going to have a lot of kids running up and down in there. So our staircase, we're making extra wide. We're making a total of four feet wide. Uh, we're using our cedar again, some uh, two-inch, giant two-inch slabs. Uh, so it's going to be really beautiful. That I've got my stringers all cut and everything. Uh, it's time to get them temped up, um, get some scaffolding going. Oh, oh, you see it? Oh, right. Oh, you always want a level staircase, right? Pretty, pretty level, pretty level. Do you have a tape measure attached to your Oh, yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using, uh, I'm using the force to help you guys. Mm, yeah! And that scaffolding is going to hold our stair stringers, it's going to hold our posts, and it's going to hold everything exactly level, exactly square, so it doesn't move. And then we're going to pour that concrete in, and it's going to set and hold it exactly there. And then we can pull that scaffolding, and we've got a staircase. So as always, with the treehouse, you got to remember what's static and what's dynamic. Um, and in the case of this staircase, um, the treehouse is dynamic, so that's moving, and the bottom of the staircase, that's got to be not moving. It's got to be static. Uh, so right in the middle at our uh, staircase platform, we're going to have it split. So the top part of the staircase is going to be moving with the treehouse, and the bottom part of the staircase is going to be static and concreted into the ground, so it's not going anywhere. And this one's going to meep, 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 meep. We this crow's nest up in the tree, we actually built the platform around the tree and then rigged it up and I sent it aloft just above where it's actually going to be mounted. And then Dylan and I are drilling the tabs while the platform is suspended above us. It's a little spooky, but I got faith in my skills. Spooky, but fun. Hi, I'm Dave Clossy. I'm from Valparaiso, Indiana. 
I got a call from a friend uh, recently to come out and work with Treehouse Masters, and the next thing you know, I'm on a plane and I'm out here working with these guys. So I got to spend a week with these guys, working in the trees, uh, listening to them, listening to them talk, watching them work, watching their moves. Uh, these guys work really hard. Uh, this is more than the magic you see on the TV show. This is a labor of love for these guys. They love doing what they do, and uh, I've taken a lot of notes, and I'm going home and I'm going to build me a tree house. End of episode two. So you made it this far. I love it. I'm so happy you guys are watching. This stuff wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for viewers like you. So if you love it, please, please hit subscribe. If you missed episode one, check it out. It's right here. And we also have another webisode from about a year ago in Tennessee. So check that out too.